Hi, Code Geass anime fan here to talk about my 16th favorite Code Geass character. That character being Gina Weinberg. Gina Weinberg being a member of the Knights of the Round and is a character introduced in the second season. So not in the first season, but he was one of the stronger additions to the second season. Uh, Gino is a really fun character, you know. Code Geass has lots of darkness and intensity and drama. Uh, lots of characters, you know, rivaling against each other, portrayals and characters dying, characters getting killed, all that stuff. So, you know, Gino, Gino's there to, you know, be a fun guy, you know. Gino's a member of the Knight of the Round, and he's getting stuff done, but he's playful, he's fun, he's just a cool dude. You see, Gino's just like, that's a fun guy to be around. And it doesn't mean that Gino's just like, woo I'm goofy, I don't do anything serious. Like I said, he gets stuff done. I, unlike other sort of comedic characters like Rivals and Tamaki, I feel like Gino does get stuff done, and... Even if it's not necessarily like 100% absolutely needed, I don't feel like he's a pointless character. I feel like he's well worked into the, into the show and it's the storylines. And, you know, with the more serious stuff going on with Suzaku and Anya, Gino's, you know, he's kind of a fun dude that's kind of there to brighten things up a little bit. And when things do get serious, though, Gino does take things seriously. And, you know, when Suzaku uh, has some extreme plans, you know, uh, Gino does, is fond of Suzaku, really fond, but when Suzaku kind of goes a bit too far, Gino you know, does call him out on that, and Gino does try to do what's right. You know, working for the Britannians, but, you know, he kind of notices that, you know, maybe the Britannian family's not doing the best thing, so, you know, Gino has his principles and his morality, he's not just Mr. Goofy Man, but with that said, he's still really funny, and... And, you know, he's just really upbeat, you know, he sees, like, the school, uh, Ashford Academy, he fits right in with all the stuff that Millie's doing, and he's very amused by all the stuff going on, sees all the antics with, like, Anya's, uh, like, um, piloting a mech into the school, and Gino's like, oh, you know, at the school, this thing happens all the time, you know, Gino's so casual and cool about it, and he's just having so much fun, and and, you know, he's a bit of a ladies' man, you know, he knows his Colin, he's like, oh, you know, Colin's pretty good looking, you know, he, uh, but he's respectful, you know, when Lucino Bradley tries being a creep, Gino uh, is there to, you know, make him leave, you know, Gino is still a, a good guy, he's a decent guy, and he's a cool guy, he's fun to have around, and, you know, he's just got a cool, fun design, and, you know, he's just fun, come on, and Gino is cool, I think care that uh, people like Gino, because he's just a fun dude, and he's a you know, a strong addition to show, and a nice guy to have around, so yeah, uh, Gina Weinberg, number 16, I think that's a pretty fair place, um, you know, in most shows, he'd be in the top 10, just, you know, Code Geass is so packed with characters, but number 16, considering how many characters Code Geass has, that's not a bad place for Gino at all.